little doll back in where she needs to be. What we thought we'd do very quickly here, as we explained to you, we've invited all of you to be godparents along with us at Cube to this new baby. We thought, and you agreed, that it would be all right if everybody gave this child a name. All right? right. All right, so we've all agreed on that. Now, what, what we have done here, you have picked four names that you would agree that if any was picked, it'd be all right, so that, so that uh, uh, we narrowed it down to four. So what we want you to do out there right now, if you'll get your cube ready, please, we would like for you, as godparents of this child, to pick the name. From these choices, number one, May. Choice number two, Elizabeth. Choice number three, Bernadette. Or choice number four, Linda. Touch now. Now right now, I, I think you understand cube. Uh, they are now touching at home, little buttons on their cubes. And now our computer is registering their choice. And uh, in just a moment, I think Ron back at the studio is going to tell us what they've chosen. While we're waiting on Ron, let me duck under the camera here just a second and get this. While we're waiting, I don't know if you know this, but uh, depending on what they choose, and by the way, I, I told you what they're going to choose. I told you I, Correct. right, yeah. I, I'm never wrong, it was a girl, and I bet you that what I said they're going to choose, they're going to. Anyway, May, by the way, is, uh, is the name means freshness and hope. Here we are. 43 like Elizabeth, 6% like May, 25 Bernadette, <laughs> <laughs> and 26 like Linda, you rascals, you. All right, uh, they all picked Elizabeth as the name that they have chosen. Z does, that, does that make you happy? Does that make you happy? Make Perfect. you happy too. To show you again here, ex excuse me just a second here, show you how, how confident I was. I wrote on a little envelope here, Linda, but I was wrong. And she also brought along her parents this evening, Ignacio and Linda. Welcome back to Columbus Alive. Hi, Gee, it's Hi. been a while since we've seen you, about a year. Uh, Tell us, you, no kidding, <laughs> no kidding. Tell us a little bit about Sophia Elizabeth, like all the things we want to know, like when she said her first word and when she took her first step and all those types of things. She just started walking about a month ago. And talking about six weeks ago. And her first word, of course, was cute. <laughs> no. No, man, it was father, dad, really. It was dad. <laughs> it's probably been a pretty exciting year for you. Can share one of the, the incidents that happened throughout this year that was kind of funny? Well, the funniest one was when uh, one day Linda calls me at, at, uh, at the shop there and she says, uh, you wouldn't believe what happened. She says, what happened? Mm. Uh, Sophia's all white. And she says, what happened? She got into the flower, and she's got the flower oh all over, no. and she looks like a baker. Ah, oh. <laughs> you have some other older children, don't you? Yeah. How are, how are they uh, doing with Sophia Elizabeth? Oh. Did they spoil <laughs> her rotten? Yes, they're making her mean. Oh. <laughs> well, listen, we have some presents for you and for your lovely daughter from everyone here at the queue. A present for you, Sophia Elizabeth. Thank you. And we just want to tell you that we really appreciate you coming and joining with us. We wish Sophia Elizabeth a very happy first birthday. We want to thank you for sharing it with us and our first anniversary. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> well, you know, we spend an awful lot of time talking about cube firsts, cube making history. And it's true, as we are about to see. Cube is a first. It is what is new in television and in communications. And any time we try something different, it is a first. For example, last February, we were all judges in the first two-way beauty pageant. And in case you forgot, here's a bit of history for you. Well, now it's time for the swimsuit competition. And remember, judge carefully, because this will pr provide 25% of the girls' total score. Once again, the Cube Home audience will act as a fifth judge. Just as with the talent rating, you will rate each girl on a scale from one to five, with one as the best possible score. Now, I'll be busy with the girls, so take your cue to touch in your rating when you see the flashing sign that says, Touch Now. Once again, the girls will not be able to see their ratings, so please respond honestly. 
Hello, I'm Susan Swice. I'm 22 years old and I'm from Gahanna. Although I have a long-term career goal of working in the field of guidance and counseling, recent events in my life have emphasized the importance of finding fulfillment in the daily pursuit of my goal. Well, anyway, as each interview comes up on the screen, you'll be asked to determine whether you think the girl that you're seeing interviewed on the screen should indeed become a finalist. Just a simple yes by touching button number one, or no, now that's going to be button number two, will state your choice. Now you're only going to be able to touch in uh, number one, yes, ten times. So remember that, don't do it eleven only times. Only ten times. Yes. Right. That was very good. <laughs> only ten times. Anyway, uh, the yes button will be ten times so that we'll know that those are your top ten choices. We'll tabulate all of them and we'll show you and me and you out there and the judges Cube's top ten finalists. Remember, it's number one for yes and number two for no when you see the touch now sign flashing. So here come the girls. I think most of all Miss Columbus, as a former Miss Columbus, I had an opportunity to work with various charitable organizations and I really came upon a very pleasant awakening seeing that really Columbus wanted to become involved. It didn't matter if they were little softball boys contributing to a major um, contribution towards an old folks home mm -hmm. or it didn't matter if it were people in a nursing home working towards giving a contribution to a charity or MS, uh, anything. It really was a very pleasant surprise seeing how much people want to become involved. And I think it did me good. I really did. I remember that well. Many bright and attractive women here. Well, many of our firsts were not really television as much as they were testing new ways for our viewers to talk to their government leaders. The meeting between Columbus and Baltimore via the NASA satellite was the most recent and technically the most advanced of our experiments. We'd like to welcome you to an American first because today we are bringing two mayoral cabinets face to face without leaving their hometowns to compare notes on three, possibly four, agenda items, items of interest to both cities. I'd like to indicate, too, I think it's a natural that this meeting occurs between the city of Columbus and the city of Baltimore. I think it's very natural that the meeting would be held from our standpoint here in the headquarters of CUBE. <clears throat> Excuse me. Both the city and CUBE are leaders in the com communications industry. And we hope to demonstrate to you, our friends in Baltimore, how the interactive system works when we ask our viewers to participate. And you'll certainly have the opportunity to uh, take advantage of this marvel of technology. I'm delighted to be able to participate in this particular con uh, communication experiment because, as Dr. Breitenfeld has indicated, I'm on the communications uh, subcommittee. By being in this room here today, I'm seeing what the technology means in terms of people. I hope the technology eliminates barriers between people. The technology is never a substitute for a human relationship or a substitute for a human contact, but it provides the forum to bring people together. It brings those two, uh, it brings the people together who actually have to figure out those daily problems of safety, of, of sanitation, of, of providing uh, alcohol and yet not creating other kinds of problems. But the other thing that's so important about this experiment is the fact that you have something in Columbus that we don't have here, which is the Warner Cube system. I've seen uh, some, uh, I've received a description of that in Washington, but right now what's exciting to me is that out there in Columbus, the ordinary citizens are able to tune in to what we're talking about here today. Yeah. 